Bienvenido a Semana Nueve. No, that's not having to talk. Yay! Welcome to Starting Lineup for Round 9 with Andrew the Atomic Bomb Weeby. I am Jason Seguini. If you had smell a vision you would know how he got that nickname. What is going to happen to your team, Andrew, when you go to Brazil? I'm a little nervous for your team in the coming months. I'm going to be fine. Internet connection is good down there. What's going to happen to your team? You're going to have to make up some ground before I get there. Hey man, Behind me right now. It's all about wild cards. Remind our audience, you can watch Brazil Bounce starting in May as we follow the U.S. team in the build-up to the World Cup. And we get to send Andrew down to Brazil, which is good for all of us here in the office. I'm a company man, Andrew. I get it all done. I know. Company men send the best of the best. All right. The best of the best. Let's get back to fantasy, and we start with the question that 90% of you are asking about. The Mauro Diaz conundrum. Roll the montage of Mauro Diaz questions. So Weebs, what is the latest on Mauro Diaz? Well, the latest is that, well, Dallas isn't saying much, honestly, but he was scheduled to have an MRI this week, meaning you probably shouldn't have him in your starting lineup. He may play, odds are he won't. You want to eye that really closely as that game time comes to pass, maybe be on the mobile site, make sure you get a guy in the mix. I wouldn't bet on him though, I am not going to have him in my starting lineup. All right, who are you replacing him this week, and are you getting rid of him altogether, or are you going to stash him on your bench? I'm not getting rid of him altogether unless I decide to sell to make a profit, but I think with seven games in May, he could be a good bet if healthy. So I want to wait and see what happens with that injury. I'm going to pick up Lamar Nagel. I've already done it. I think with that triumvirate in Seattle, him, Martins, and Dempsey, they're getting it done right now. It's an easy bet. They have a double round in round 10, which you can check out the starting lineup on where I give you the recommendations. He'll be one of them. So he's my man. I think Lamar Nagel is a good bet. All right, don't miss Andrew's solo attempt at setting you up for the big double week. Now to fan questions, and we are going to start with Dan McKenzie. What will, what week will, that's two different words. What will, what, I, <laughs> how many He's times am I going to do yeah. this? It's a tongue twister, apparently. What week will we see World Cup players disappear for camps? Third time's the charm. That was, that was well done at that point, though. Look, for the U.S., at least, it's going to be round 11. So you're going to watch out in that week. But rosters will come out then, so you'll know for the other CONCACAF nations as well, too. So you'll be able to set yourself up at that time. Round 11's the one to watch. Remember, that's going to have a wild card in it, so you should be okay. That's why we gave you those unlimited moves. All right, Zach Coffey asked the next question. I hope it is easier to pronounce. Union midfield seems to be very inconsistent, Andrew. Are guys like Latou and Fernandez worth keeping? Yeah, John Hackworth's having to mix things up right now. The result's not coming. I'd steer clear of Latou, but look, at the price point Fernandez is at right now, he's a guy to stick on the bench. You can afford that, and if someone gets injured, someone gets suspended maybe, he can be a spot starter for you. No reason to drop, probably no reason to purchase, though. Yeah, good point. Uh, that's basically my answer. So. I don't have to answer that question. Ryan Owens, the next question. Will Yedlin jump on the big point train with Oba and Deuce in uh, the three games in round nine and 10? Choo, choo. Yeah, jump on Yedlin, I like him. I think you got more to say. Yeah, I think all the Seattle players really on both sides of the ball are good over those couple weeks. They have good matchups. They have the double game week, et cetera. Feel free to, uh, to go with Yedlin. Winner, Andrew Winner, next question. Is there a reason to hang on to Colorado's Vincente Sanchez at this point? No, I don't think there's a reason. Zero points, two points, zero points. That's his last three weeks. If you're starting him, what were you doing after that first zero point week? That PK train has seemingly uh, pulled up at, at the wrong station. All right, moving on. Jeremy Spitzberg says, well is it time to invest in Robbie Keane or should I wait until after the week 12 doubles? So Andrew, I'm going to pose this question a different way. Would you rather have Will Bruin twice or Robbie Keane once? It's so tough. I, I love two bites at the apple, but the chemistry in Houston right now, up top, it, it feels pretty toxic. I think I'm going to go with Robbie Keane. His upside is so much better. If you've got Will Bruin, I'd say stick with him. Don't go out and purchase Robbie Keane now. Wait until that double week, but if you don't have either, I think I'd be inclined to go Robbie Keane. All right, that was just one example to make the point that Robbie Keane is Robbie Keane. He's better than a lot of guys, even when they're going to play two weeks. So you can go out and get him, feel comfortable with it. 
But that said, you also want to have a bunch of two-start guys during that uh, upcoming week. All right, it's time for the leaderboard. Who did well this week? This is also known as the linguistic skills competition because you guys are really creative with your team names. Obviously, some people uh, have tough regular names. What Look, do you call we're that? Just, we're just known <laughs> for stumbling over these things. First place last week in that double round week, Budala Athletic. Evalo Viktorov. I think I did pretty well on that. 123 points. Nice week. All right, I don't do well at these. Second place, Tetse Fly from Mike Quarino. 121 points. Big week for him. And then an easy one. The Austin Big Sox in third. Robert S. 118 points. How many points you get, Jason? Why didn't I get that one? I set That's it up. the I name set, it up set up This is how me. it works. So I saw the first one, I saw the third one, and All right, I just my, jumped in. My team has been doing well lately. We've been above 70, and I think that's important okay. for considering the start. I'm waiting for the wild cards. I think they were going to play in big. I've saved my wild card for when it's going to count later in the season. Look. Wish everyone good luck this weekend in week nine. Obviously, week 10 is going to be a big one for us, so we'll be back next week. If you haven't checked it out already, check out Andrew's video on setting yourself up for the big double week in round a 10. double dose of the Kansas Cowboy get-up. Yeah, I don't know if we I need more. I did this just for you. I don't know if we need more of the Kansas Cowboy. All right, guys, see you next week.